Throughout the semester, you will be working with different chemicals and biological materials, and it is important for you to know how to handle them carefully so that you can be careful and you can protect yourself and others. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about some lab safety rules that you need to take into consideration when working in the lab. I'll start with some general rules. So you're going to the lab and you have your food and you drink. The first thing that you need to do is to discard these items because food and drink are not allowed in the lab. Reason being, if you're working at your lab desk and you have your food and drink nearby and you're probably handling a dangerous chemical, if the chemical causes cancer, for example, that could cause you to be at a great, greater risk of getting this disease. So it's very important that you have no food or drink in the lab to avoid contamination. Also, people with long hair will need to securely pin it up or they could use a hat to keep it in place so that your hair will not be exposed and in the case of a fire, your hair won't be um, caught on fire. Importantly, you need to make sure that you have on a lab coat. So if you notice, I have on my lab coat and I have it buttoned right from the top to the bottom to secure my clothing, to secure myself. Another thing that you need to make sure is that your shoe is closed-toed. If you notice, I have closed-toed shoes here. And if you have sneakers, you can wear it. That's just as good, as long as you have no toes exposing. So just in case a glass might splash onto the floor, you won't get cut accidentally. Also, if you notice here, I have my book bag. This cannot stay on the table because if you need space to work, you want to take this off and put it underneath the bench area that you're going to work on so that you have a safe area. So when you're working in the lab also, when you're handling chemicals, um, biological materials like blood or cells, you want to protect your hands. So that's why you need your gloves. So I'm going to put on my gloves here. So you choose the glove that matches your hand size so that you can be comfortable when you're working in the lab. Also, you want to protect your eyes. So here we have two eye protective equipment. One is a goggle or goggles, and this is a glass, an eye, eyewear. So you can put your eyewear on and now you're ready to work in the lab. So if you're handling flame or chemicals, this is a good way to be attired for the lab. Also, when working in the lab, you want to keep your work area neat. So here are some examples of some cleaning agents that you can use before and after you work in the lab. So this is 70% isopropyl, isopropanol, sorry, and this is 10% bleach. So these are good agents to clean off the area so that also it pr protects you, prevents contamination of any experiment you may be doing. It is very important to wash your hands before and after you complete your lab exercise, again, so as to protect yourself.